In this video, you will learn how to factory reset Huawei Cloud Engine S5700 series switches using device CLI. Let's first log in into the switch. On the rear panel of the switch, you will find the console port. I am currently connected to this console port via console cable and using PuTTY software to open COM port 3. The command display version reveals that the switch model is S5732 and the software version is V200R022C00SBC500. The command display IP interface is brief, shows that a VLAN interface 10 has been created and assigned the IP address 172.16.101/24. The command display work mode reveals that the switch is operating in traditional mode. Cloud engine switches can operate either in traditional mode or in cloud management mode. In cloud management mode, the switch is connected to a controller, which pushes configurations to the switches via the NetConf protocol. In both modes, a cloud engine switch can be factory reset. Additionally, the system name of the switch is ABBR-2. Enter command reset factory configuration in user view. You will get warning message that the command will delete all the configurations and files except the startup, patch, module and license files from the device. If you press N, then the factory reset process will not continue. The command display license reveals the license information if present on the device. Note that the license information will not delete if we perform factory reset. Let's factory reset the switch. Note that after factory reset, configuration of VLAN 10 will not be present on this switch. Enter command, reset factory configuration, in user view. Press Y to continue. Next, press Y to continue the reboot process. This will take a while to factory reset. Switch will auto reboot during this process. Wait for the switch to complete the boot process. Press Enter to set the initial password on the console. You will notice that the system name has been reset to Huawei, and VLAN Interface 10, which was previously configured, is no longer present. The switch has been successfully factory reset. Also note that the command Display License reveals that the license information is still present on this switch and not deleted in the factory reset process.